Today's video topic is going to be lens flare. Just kidding. Uh, oh god, I have a bad feeling about that mattress on top of that guy's car. Anyway, so today's topic is going to focus on something that most Nissan Leaf drivers or potential owners are really worried about, I guess is the best way of putting it. And that's going to be the overall battery lifetime of the vehicle. Now, the vehicle itself is quite reliable. I haven't had any issues in the year or, year or two that I've actually owned the vehicle. No major maintenance issues. Nothing's broken on it. And I, if you know me in real life, you'll know I'm not the most gentle person in the world, shall we say? Even with me beating on this car for about maybe two years now, I haven't had any issues with anything breaking. But I have noticed some overall battery degradation. When I purchased the vehicle, I believe it had maybe 10 battery bars on it. 10 or 11. Uh, soon after I bought the vehicle, I lost one battery bar. And now I'm down to 9. Now, here's the thing to understand. Oh, here's that lens flare again. Here's the thing to understand. The battery in this vehicle is the first battery, or the original battery that came with the vehicle. It's the non-lizard pack, the basic 24 kilowatt hour battery. That's an issue, for me anyway. Mainly because this car was sold in California. It spent the majority of its three year life in California. Now, I, I was expecting the battery to fail after I bought it and I would be able to turn it in and get a new battery. That was not the case, however. The battery on this vehicle didn't break in the lot of time frame, and now that my warranty is expired, the battery would cost me full price. Because the battery uh, capacity rating, or the battery capacity warranty is no longer valid. Anyway, now that the battery capacity warranty is no longer valid, I'm not really too concerned of how long the battery lasts as long as it lasts more than two years. That should be the approximate time of when I'll be getting my uh, Tesla Model 3. Assuming I get a job that actually allows me to buy it. See, I put the money down without actually knowing how to pay for the vehicle, which is not the smartest move, I'll admit, but I want that car. So I just I just thought I would go over my experience with this current uh, Nissan Leaf battery and how it's lasted. Now, my car currently has 34,706 miles, which is going up every day. It is a 2011 Nissan Leaf with the original battery. At this current point in time, I'm down to about 9 bars of battery, and I get what's estimated to be about 50 to 60 miles on a charge. The, with my driving style and the terrain that I drive on, I don't get that. Because I, I live in a valley, the Las Vegas Valley, and just because of how steep some of the roads are, that's not the case. Mainly, shoot, it's a fast moped. He's rolling. Anyway, because of because of the overall terrain that I live on, it's I simply do not get 55 to 60 miles per charge. That being said, when I do go back downhill, it's pretty easy for me to coast the, almost the whole way down. This guy's been in the bike lane the whole damn time. Volkswagen. The issues I'm having with my battery is, quite frankly, the heat of Las Vegas. It's very common for it to be about 120 degrees constantly during, well, 110 to 120, let's not overshoot it, during summer. Now, with that, it does damage the battery whenever it gets to 80% charge or get low on charge. That plus I will have my AC on during summer, adding even more rain to the battery itself. And at that point, the bat the air conditioning is probably operating towards its upper limit and towards its max pow power draw. So that, that does put a lot of strain on a battery that is air cooled. 
Unlike the Ford Focus BEV or the Chevy Volt or many other electric cars, the Nissan Leaf battery is air cooled. When it comes to a drier climate like Las Vegas, that's not the best move. Because if I remember correctly, there was a class action lawsuit from Nissan Leaf owners in Arizona because of the batteries failing so early because of the heat. Now, my car did not get its battery replaced, and as such, I'm still running on the original battery. That is not meant for these kind of temperatures. Even if you read the, the Nissan Leaf manual, it'll specifically say the peak operating efficiency of this car is around 70 to 80 degrees. Well, right now, it's mid-October, the sun is going down, and it's still 80 83 degrees outside. And to be honest, for me, 80 degrees is almost sweater weather. I don't know about how, how other people deal with it, but 80 degrees is pretty cool for us. I mean, I'm not even warm until we get into the mid-90s. I have noticed relatively significant battery degradation. I, it's about one bar a year that I lose, which is somewhat troubling. Now, the way I see it, I'm going to get down into the minimum battery, what is the minimum workability of the battery pretty soon which I believe is around 8 bars but even then after that 8 bar range I should be able to run the vehicle a bit more I don't really drive too often well I do drive often but I, I don't go more than maybe 20 miles a day and uh, the school I go to College of Southern Nevada is a community college and they do have 4 electric car chargers there and then the other campus is right by my house. Like I could walk there if I wanted to. In terms of would I buy this car again, knowing what I know now about the battery, yes, but I would probably get a later model Nissan Leaf that came with the Lizard Pack battery, which are the 2013 models and up.